Okay, good morning, everyone. It is Thursday. Okay, so this morning I need to get a couple of reports done really quickly, and then I can begin to work on like what I've been working on um, this week, which is getting back to this analysis on sales data. So yesterday, I think I was yesterday, I told you guys, I was trying to figure out how to do a bell curve in Tableau and that like, if I figured it out, I would show you guys how to do it, like maybe do like a separate video. So I've watched, there's not a lot of videos on people doing bell curves in Tableau, but there was someone that showed it how to do it but there is a formula in there that I don't understand what it's doing like they're using the same or similar formulas that you would use in Excel like to calculate the mean which is just your average to calculate their standard deviation I didn't know that Tableau had that in there so you can calculate the standard deviation your mean um, in Tableau but there was let me see. Do I still have the video up? What well, there was a formula that they used um, to calculate the um, the curve. That's the part I didn't understand. So, I I, yeah, I can't <laughs> I can't explain something I don't understand. So I need to go back and look at it. Now I will, if I can, I will put in a screenshot of what my bell curve ended up looking like against like my bar chart because the bar chart represents like the actual results. The bell curve re represents um, like the normal distribution. And what is throwing off my bar chart is that I have so many results at zero and those results are supposed to be like they're accurate like the, there's a lot of people that have zero as far as a result goes but it's throwing off like the axis of the bar chart like because that because there's so many people at zero it's making all of the other bar charts or the other bars in the graph look small because there's this one and again you'll see it um, hopefully I'll include it and you'll be able to see like why it's thrown off so much. Um, I guess for me, the question is now why are so, why, why do we have so many results at zero? That's a question. Like we have some negative results, but not as many negative results as we have, as we have at zero. So that's something that I'm going to dig in today to find out, like, it doesn't like, is there an answer for the zeros? Because that is just a significant, like, I know other people would be like, why are there so many people at zero? Like what's going on here? You know, because it stands out and it's throwing off the rest of the results in the bar chart. So, yeah. So that's something I'm going to look at um, this morning and work on. And today is a day where I have just a lot of meetings back to back. So it's hard to kind of like talk to you guys. Like I have meetings... Um, I have one at 9 a.m. So I have one in about 30 minutes. And then I have my next, I have like an hour window. And then I have meetings from 10.30 to 2.30. So back to back, I'll have meetings all day. So I won't be able to get as, like work on this as much as, much as I'd like to. But I will check in with you guys, give you updates on this. And if anyone's confused, I'm confused as well. Like I'm currently working on, I usually work on or if you're not aware my role is typically to work on performance management but I work on performance management typically with employees now I'm looking at still somewhat employees but I'm looking at sales data now like performance management in a sales capacity or in the sales area and I have no background in sales I don't like there's retail sales, there's online sales, like when you go like order from a website, there's over the phone sales, there's door to door sales, like business, like I don't do business or anything like that. But you know, there's business sales and all these other kind of sales that I'm having to look at. So this is all brand new to me. And then we are pulling together a deck or the deck is pretty much done. There's just some other groups that have to like work on it as well and there were a couple of add, there were a couple add-ons by our director that he wants to see in this deck as well um they're trying to prove out a theory to see like what's contributing or what's impacting sales so yeah like 
just a lot of different theories going on and just trying to prove it out. So that's what I'm working on currently. So let me get back to getting these reports out and I will check in with you guys a bit later. <laughs> my meetings ran over my meetings were supposed to go till 2 30 they went until it's almost three o'clock i'm about to leave for the day in like 30 minutes so i just need to wrap things up but in between meetings and even on meetings i wasn't even working on my own projects i was helping out a co-worker with her projects that she's working on and decks like it, it just seems like there's certain um dashboards that she didn't have access to that i was able to access and then I needed to modify other people's dashboards, like download them and edit them because some people, when they, um, how do I explain this? So with Tableau, you can have your dashboard set up so that it fits like the width of the screen or the height or the entire view and that will help you determine like if you need or if, are you going to have the dashboard like scroll and certain things like that and if someone has a really good dashboard where they have the charts and graphs and things already built out for you like we're going to work smarter not harder i'm going to use their graphs i'm going to screenshot it but if you have to scroll and you can't see all the data in one shot like one view it's hard to screenshot that and use it for your own deck, which is what she needed to do. She needed to screenshot their deck and put, or screenshot their dashboard. That's one screen where they have um, nice charts so we don't have to recreate the wheel. She just wanted to screenshot it, put it in her deck and keep it moving. But the way it was set up is that you have to scroll because it was fitting the width of not the entire view. So I had to download their dashboard edit it to fit the entire view, do the screenshot, send her the screenshot, help her work on her deck. We're getting numbers, we're getting things done. And then also I'm her backup because she's gonna be out of the office tomorrow. So I need to know these things just in case someone reaches out and asks a question. Although I can probably say like, look, I don't know anything. I'm new here, <laughs> I, like I'm new, <laughs> like I don't know anything about all the sales stuff, so. But it's good for me to do these things and learn where things are, so. I've been helping out with that. So my manager has to reschedule our meeting to discuss some of the things that I've been working on and some of the results that I have, but we did just hang back on like our last call and discuss some of the things that I had questions about, like for a lot of my results in my dashboard showing zero. She was like, that is normal. So I guess like the data is what it is. It's gonna look skewed in my um, graph, in that chart I showed you guys. It's gonna look skewed because she's saying that is accurate. So we have a high number of people that had zeros in the month of August, month to date, September. We still have a lot of people at zero. And there could be various reasons for that, but she did say that is quite normal. I, I, I'm i not gonna eliminate, like when you're doing this, you have the option where like if the data, I would say if the data came back like it's NA or nulls, like I, these are not null values. Zero is not a null val value. So they still need to be counted. Like when you're doing counts in your code, it's gonna count zero because it's looking at these rows, you know, like a sum is different. Like when you sum, zero that's different counting zero it still counts so yeah i still need them to show up and that appears to be accurate based on the knowledge i have i'm gonna meet with someone next week as well just who has a little bit more background in sales data 
and analytics because again not my wheelhouse this is new to me so I think as much information as I can get from others would be helpful for me learning you know for me to learn so yeah that meeting is for next week Wednesday so hopefully everything goes to plan and I can learn more yeah because y'all it's like sales is crazy like I like I, I like there's like like when I look at KPIs they're the same like there are let's say for example you know how we use different words that mean the same thing like they do that like they're called something different these KPIs but they mean the same thing so I don't like that personally. I, I, I don't like that. Um, I, I wish we would stop doing that, but yeah, I don't like it because I'm confused when I go to pull results and I'm trying to validate it like this against this, like, and they're the same doggone thing, but the numbers are, oh, and here's the other thing. The numbers are different though, because people look at them different ways. Which is a whole nother story. We won't get into that now because I need to finish out the day. So I will try to check in with you guys tomorrow. Happy Friday. So today I am, I had to take a couple hours off this morning in order to get some appoint, well, go to some appointments, get some things done. Got my flu shot, so I'm good there. So for work, what am I working on? So before I went to my appointment, I was taking a training. I need to finish that training one, but I also, um, my manager asked me to reach out to our finance and HR team, I need to get some numbers from them for something that we're working on. So I just sent an email um, out to get that information from them. So hopefully they respond to me soon. And uh, I think that's all she asked for. I'm just looking at her, her message. Yes, okay. Went to Starbucks, got myself some coffee. I've been going to Starbucks like every day this week. I need to stop, but like the pumpkin cream cold brew, if you've never tried it, try it y'all. All right, so I need to get back and take my training after I fin, because this is like a mandatory training. So after I finish that, it says it'll only take like 30 minutes. So after I take that, then I can get back to working on my Tableau dashboard, I believe. I do have, hold on, did they cancel? No, okay, so I have two meetings, like one, with my manager and then one with another team. It's only like half my team is out on vacation today. So I don't know if we still need like this team meeting that we normally have, but we'll see, maybe they'll cancel it. But it's an hour long meeting and I don't wanna be like the only one there. So yeah, but we'll see. 